G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. Today I'm going to do a video on a more advanced locations for tier 2 and tier 3 when it comes to things like copper, tin, iron, granite. These things are needed in a lot of quantity towards the tier 2, especially tier 3. You're going to be doing a lot of research and making a lot of armor and things uh, that require a lot of ingots so you're going to need a good supply now the supplies that i had for tin and copper near my main base uh, have all depleted and uh, for some reason they're not respawning so we can have a look i'll just show you on the map uh, these areas like here up in the hills these ones they're all gone um, I didn't build too close to them, so I think I'm guessing they've just been depleted out. So I was looking for some larger nodes. So I've gone and looked over the whole map and done a lot of research and found the best places to get some of these ingredients. So the first one we're going to look at is copper. Uh, the, oh, this is on the easy side of the map too, so this is a good place to find copper. I'm going to show you two really good copper locations. Uh, one is a lot easier to get to than the other, but they're both very good locations. So I'll show you where on the map we are at the moment. We are just to the left side of Bradford, uh, the west here. You can see we've got a copper node here and a copper node here. Uh, just be aware of the bores in the area. Now, there's a good thing about this place is it's got a little road that runs through the middle. And you can see down the bottom there, I built um, my little home for the outpost. I will be showing you at the end of this video too how, how I build outposts uh, quite a distance from my main and the easiest way I think to set them up as well. So stick around for that or if you're just looking for that, head to that one, I will timestamp it below. But we've got a pit down here, we have a house and we have a barn, it's pretty much all you need. And I've got a delivery system set up for every, all the copper coming going out and then some food and some pickaxes coming in. So I'll show you why this place is so good. It's Firstly, like I said, I got a fast travel down there. It's right on the road, which is really handy. You can see a massive uh, spawn of copper in that hill there, and then there's another massive mount here. So I've put the camp as in the middle as I possibly can, and I'll show you the nodes. They're quite large, so which is super handy. So this one here, you can see there's uh, five big stones, I think. Actually, there might have been six, and there's copper on the ground and stuff as well. And we've got so we've got a raid coming in. That's <laughs> always the way, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll come back here and I'll show you the next raid in a second. Okay, we took care of that raid. Now I'm going to show you this other large node that we have up on the hill here. This one's pretty huge. So like I said, I put the camp right in the well, the pit I should say, right in the middle of the two. And you can see here you go another large amount of copper it's like huge amount here so this is the first location that i would suggest uh for setting up your more advanced pit or the copper farming because it's got two really large sections uh, right and as you can see you can build it right on a road you can put a travel sign in there and uh, yeah you shouldn't run out of copper too soon but i will show you another location for copper now this one is a little bit further away so if this one does get depleted or you need more resources this one would come in handy too and i'm going to set up a, a little outpost here uh, later in this video as well on this next location just to show you guys um, how it all works so let's jump over to that one there and have a look at the second one that i would suggest that you set your outpost up at Okay, we are at our next location. As you can see behind me, we've got a massive amount of copper here. So we've got actually two nodes in the one location. You can see there's just heaps of it here. Uh, but the only downside with this particular spot is it is quite remote. Um, for the point of view that you don't getting any kind of bandits wandering by is pretty good, but obviously it still can be raided. But I'll show you where on the map where we are. And as I said, uh, the nearest road is quite a distance from this particular node you can see there are two copper nodes right here next to each other and we are like the top left hand corner of the map you can see just up here uh, there's black ridge pool so right basically north of that there is this little road this is the closest road this kind of is the border of the map up here so you can't kind of go any further and yeah thanks to some people on discord i found this one and they told me that this was a pretty good spot but as you can see it is quite remote and hard to get to but a good spot for two really big clusters of copper 
All right, the next one I'm going to show you guys is tin. Uh, well, I will say firstly on the copper situation, there are other copper nodes. People are going to point these out. I don't like them because they are spread out. But if you have a come down here, there is a nice big chunk here on the road just to the left of Padstow. Uh, it's on the uh, river here. So you have to clear out some banded camps in this area to get access to these ones. And you'll find that there's uh, quite a bit of tin as well, which I'll show you a nice big tin a tin across the river here as well. Uh, so you've got these tin nodes. And um, back to copper though, just over here on the right side of this uh, Farnworth, there's a big copper node near this big abandoned encampment too. It's right next to it. That's a massive one. But you will need to clear out this encampment to get access to it. So that's why I didn't show it on this one. If you stand on this hill, you can see it. But there's at least probably 20 to 30 bandits in there. So it's quite, quite hard to get to. Um, and then there's another one on the hill here, but like I said, no no real roads going into that. This is just borders, so the nearest road is down in this bridge. It's really hard to get to. For one mode, I wouldn't be heading to that one. I definitely would be sticking to the one just west of Bradford, these two. And if you're leading another big chunk of copper, uh, for me, I'd say this one just up here. You can build a camp here. And I'll show you next where tin is. As you can see off to the right, we have two tin nodes here. So I'll go and show you those as well. Got a boar coming in here. And um, yeah, the tin node is just down there. This is quite a large area over here actually. So it's actually pretty good for setting up a nice outpost. Plenty of trees around. Well, there's a few. <laughs> Hopefully they'll be in some sort of forest uh, forestization camp. I don't know if that's how you say it. Where you can replant trees. But if we head over this way, um, we'll have a look at those cop uh, tin nodes. Okay, we're just closer to the road, uh, exactly where we were. I'll show this one while we're here. Uh, this is uh, probably the better of the tin node areas because there's two like quite close together. Um, you can see there's a big chunk here uh, on the hill, and then we've got quite a big uh, node down here. And it's very close to that area that I was telling you up the with the copper so you could build a couple of mining uh i guess camps i wouldn't probably they i'm not sure how far if they're close enough or not if we have a look in the ben, build menu at harvesting and if you have a look at um the tier three hit it's it, i'm not sure what the radius of this is it's a shame we don't know i I'm not sure if this would work in the middle of both. So you may be like looking at putting in, uh, I'd say a, a mining hut possibly. Um, although you could just go straight for these little mining camps. They'll do the job because it's just tin and copper and they're really cheap to make. So that'd probably be what I'd be doing. But you can see there's a, a lot of tin just here. Um, you can put a camp at each end and you can put like maybe a store in the middle or a store near the road. I'd uh, probably be the preferred and just name it with the one outpost and I'm still trying to work out what the best method for that is at the moment so at the end of this video we'll experiment around with it and see what we come up with but anyway this is uh, the better of the tin locations because they're quite close to each other I will show you a couple more tin locations that are pretty good uh, you will need to clear out some banners to get access to these these ones here you don't need to clear out anything at all uh, which is pretty handy and um, I'll show you those other tin areas now Okay, another really good spot for tin is going to be over here on the map and I'll show you where we are. There are two tin nodes quite, quite close to each other so I found that this would probably be a good place for an outpost. I haven't put one in here as yet because I found that tin, I, there is a lot of tin on this side of the map and it is quite easy to get to. There's a quite a big node right near this kind of, uh, if you can have a look, where are we, to the east of Padstow, just below sort of where most people would be building their first settlement. Uh, this tin node I'll show you in a minute is, is probably the one that you're going to use the most of and then there are you know little bits and pieces of tin around the place. So tin I found is something that I've kind of not run out of as much of just yet but the first one I showed you which was uh, up in this top corner up here, these two here, uh, if you are going to build an outpost would probably be the place I'd be going because you're getting two lots, you're getting the copper two and you're getting the two lots of tin in the one area. 
so it makes it sense if you're going to put down a in an outpost for tin you'd put it here because you're going to get copper as well but this is a pretty big node you can see you will have to clear out some bandits to get to this one unfortunately uh, there is quite a few bandits in the area and i had to clear out a few to actually have access to this one when i want it and i'll show you the other one it's just a little bit further down here and like i said you might be able to build in the middle here um, if you're strategic enough to get access to both although the tier one mining camp may not work i'm not really sure i haven't tested it yet but you can see there's another quite a large node just here and it's not massive but this is probably the second best spot that i've found if you found a better spot than those two for tin with two you know big nodes right next to each other please let me know let's have a look at the one that's closest to the starting area though that's a pretty handy one Okay, so the absolute best location for tin early game is going to be just here where I was talking about these kind of crossroad area just south of the main starting area. You're more than likely going to have your settlement in this area anyway, and you've got some tin on the hill here. But this particular node where I'm standing right here is quite a large one as well, and I would definitely recommend setting up a camp just here. You don't need to have it as an outpost. I've just put a tier one uh, mining camp just here to mine it it's not too far away you can see my settlements just there so it's within walking distance in fact there's the hunter's lodge just over there as well so this is quite a good location uh, in hindsight i probably would have built possibly my outpost further down towards this crossroads anyway but um, yeah this is a quite a good node and hasn't run out yet i've had this one in operation for quite a while so if you do have a better tin location than those three, please pop it in the comments below if you think there's a better place to get tin, by all means. You're going to need quite a lot of tin and copper. Uh, the ingots themselves, you'll need them by themselves, but they also, uh, you know, you need them for bronze. So you're going to need to combine a lot of those to get that bronze uh, in the tier one area. And now we're going to have a look at the steel locations, uh, which is we're going to look for iron. So we'll have a look at the best iron locations on the map as well. Okay, we are at the locations that I'm going to show you right now for the iron ore. You can see there's a node just here and there's one just up the road. So this is probably the best and largest location for iron ore that's easy to get to. You can see we've got this really big, massive node here. It's there's like a ton of iron in here and just up the road there is another clump of it so let's kind of have a look at that one now when you are building a camp mining camp for the iron you're going to want to put it somewhere where you can get access to granite as well so just keep that in mind uh, there's no point building multiple outposts but you can see you could put a pit in the middle of these two and get access to these two iron it's not as big this one here uh, but it is, you know, it's, it's kind of a smaller node. Uh, it's got some, you know, it looks like it's got some tin in here as well. And then some iron. So interesting, it's got some tin here as well. And bit a little bit of iron as well. So that's probably the, the one of the better ones. Now the downside with this one, there's no granite really close by. So you can see the granite is down here. And it's towards this really, the brigands prison, which is, you know, you'd have to clear it if you wanted to get access to this one. So that's why I didn't build here, even though that is the, the biggest, uh, I guess, iron pit area is this one over here is that it doesn't have any access to granite and I didn't want to waste resources so I didn't build here. So I'll show you where I built. It's a smaller iron node but it has plenty of granite and it's also got cotton nearby too if you needed it and we'll jump there now. Okay we're at our uh, my favorite location for iron. You can see we've got quite a large node of iron here. There is only the one just here but we also have got granite right next door as well. Um, I'm not sure if I bit my pit too close to everything. We'll soon see how that works out. But so far, um, it seems to be doing quite well. I've been here uh, quite a few, probably oh, a few months at least with this particular setup. So uh, we're getting lots of granite and we're getting lots of iron over there. And I've just put down, at this stage, I've just put down this uh, storage pit. Although it is getting quite full. So I've just got to keep an eye on that. Uh, but we seem to be supplying granite and 
with no problems. Looks like everyone's like actually uh, probably got too many people out here. There's also cotton just here, so a good location to set up a small outpost if you're wanting to add a you know place. It's the only other resource out here, unfortunately, is just the wood and the cotton. So just bear that in mind. But um, this would be my favorite location. Some other locations that you could think about. I didn't put them in this video because they are quite hard uh, to uh, clear out. I believe that down in this area um, behind this large band encampment there's some more uh, iron nodes along the water down in here I've been told um, and granite so I think the I think that location is just near this lake so this one here this this mid panic camp you'd have to clear it just in here uh, there is a iron node quite a large one and there's also some granite apparently I have seen some pictures of that one also, I did have a camp just on this hill at one stage, but I just found that it was getting too many walk by bandits. It was starting to irritate me, but there was quite a lot of granite and iron in this area. So this would be another area that I would recommend if you were looking at it. It's quite, it's close to Horndean, but um, out of the two, I would just go this south. The only downside with this one is the road is a little bit of a distance and to set up a fast travel sign, it is a little walk, not too far. Uh, so yeah but best locations for the iron would be yeah, i'd say here but I'm, I'm recommending this area down in here because it has the the granite as well and it's not marked on the map but as you can see there's a, there's a ton of cotton here as well that grows in the warmer months so if you've got a better lo uh, location for iron please uh, let me know i'd love to know about that location so i can share it with everybody else that's watching this video i'll pin some comments uh, below too with those locations and maybe I will upload a, a map as well and circle some of the better areas once I've got a little bit more feedback from you guys. All right we're going to jump ahead and have a look at I have shown you the granite um, you don't really need more granite than what I've shown you so to be honest this is the best location for both I have uh, so much granite and iron let's have a look at the main settlement and have a look in storage and we'll have a look at resources. If you have a look at, uh, let's have a look here, granite at the moment. We have 250, way more than we need. Um, actually, warehouses are filling up too fast. And if you have a look at the iron ore, 161, more than enough. So this particular little location here supplies more uh, than I need by far. So definitely the best location. But in order to produce all this stuff, you're going to probably need two things. One would be the peat if you're going to use the furnaces. Uh, but if you are going to be uh, doing the iron or steel, I should say, you want to, I'll show you, uh, you're going to have to build a couple of smelters. Um, so these smelters don't produce everything for you, but you need charcoal for that. So you're going to need a lot of hardwood for hardwood planks, but you need, you're going to need a lot, a lot of logs for charcoal as well. So um, I'll show you a really good hardwood location where I've set up my logging camp, and it's quite a good little location as well. Let's head there now. All right, guys, the next thing I've set up is a logging camp. You can see here, I've used the largest building here, uh, the lumber mill, and I'm basically looking for logs, and hardwood and normal logs out this way. So the location that I put this was just enough away from Barnworth that I didn't, you know, basically, I guess you can't collect things around a town. It own that all those things are owned by a town. So just bear that in mind. So I've built up on this hill here because there is a road um, and there is there is so many trees in this area. I'm not really sure what the limit is on the particular building, the radius. I'm hoping that they'll probably put something like that into the game information at some stage so you can tell what a radius is where you can click on a building and see where the radius is at the moment we can't replant trees so trees like hardwood are found in the starting area in smaller quantities now you can see up here they're like an unusual tree when you are in this starting area they'll look kind of like uh, these kind of knotty looking trees to begin with but then the trees that you're looking for for hardwood in are going to be these kind of guess trees that you know you'd find in like authentic kind of European Russian kind of looking they're the hardwood trees you will find there's also some normal wood in here as well for logs but I've had this camp set up for quite a while and it's just basically it's mining out this whole hill over here you can see 
Also, being able to set up on this little road here or a track, you can set up a fast travel sign. You can put a house down and put a barn down. And I guess I've had no issues with logs from here. Also, uh, bear in mind, Farnworth you can trade with. Uh, you can trade hardwood logs with as well, amongst other things. Uh, but once you've got this set up, you shouldn't have any issues. As you can see, I've got 129 hardwood logs already back at the, the main base. So really no need this particular place here with just the two uh, people chopping wood is a really good outpost and has no issues all right well look i think they're the best ones if you think you've got a better location for the hardwood uh, please let me know uh, there are a lot of different locations on the map for different resources these are just my favorite after you know playing for 200 plus days and god knows how many hours i think they are the the better of the locations and i've never had an issue with you know having run out of anything since putting these particular outposts down so i'm going to show you how to build how i build an outpost now so if it's something you're interested in uh, this is what i've found is the quickest way to put the whole process together if it is quite far out i'm going to do it in an area that is really remote to show you how to do it i'm going to do it in this area that i showed you there is some copper and there is some tin up here so i'm going to actually build a, a system up here and i'm going to show you how i do that in a minute so stay tuned for that one if you are enjoying this video hit that like button helps me out heaps uh, make sure you comment below like i said and consider subscribing if uh, you are enjoying these videos and um, yeah join the community all right let's head off and show you how i build a outpost okay guys the first thing i'm going to quickly do out here is i'm going to build a uh, area where I want to mine the copper and the tin. I want to place down a stockpile. So as soon as you place the building down, this is stockpile one. You want to check what it's called. It's gonna, uh, you can see I've brought the ingredients, most of them with me, but we'll just quickly want to go into our inventory screen. So settlers don't start walking here. You want to go to storage. You want to find your stockpile and we'll see which one this is allocated to. You'll be able to see actually under construction is probably the easiest way where this has been allocated to and you can see this one here has been allocated to this particular let's do all which is my main settlement so what we want to do is we want to go to construction and we want to find it and we want to rename it so i'm going to create a new one this is going to be a tin and just you can just do what you want to do copper north i guess west we'll just call it northwest so uh, and what this renaming it that way we're stopping people walking here to build or supply stuff for it something uh so what you're gonna need it's winter there's no flax up here so you're gonna have to bring some flax with you and so basically just having a look at the ingredients the logs and the wood can be found in abundance around here you can see so you don't need to bring that with you so the other thing that you're going to need to build is a fast travel sign if you see i've built one over there so we'd have a look at that and that one you're going to need uh just a two the stone might be a little there's plenty of stone around here so and this other stuff you can find around here as well so i'd be building a travel sign you're going to need some a little bit of renown to build that uh, so basically just in order to put that one down over here um, so we'll get this thing built and then we'll show you how I set up the this, the rest of the delivery system because there are other things that you're going to need in this area let's just get this re built really quickly okay so once you've got your stockpile built and you know this has got its, um, its own outpost name what you're going to need to do is set up a delivery system and assign somebody to this area to start to get things built that's again so basically what you're going to need is you're going to need some renown to hire somebody and the nearest town to this one is actually quite a distance but it's padstow so i would be getting someone from padstow or the main town uh it depends really they're going to have to walk through heavily populated kind of banded areas unless you've cleared these out i think i've actually cleared this one out i'm not sure why it's still showing up so i guess this town here uh hydrate 
would be the best town to, to hire someone from or you could send someone from your main camp it's up to you and then they would basically they're going to have to walk to this area so that's something that you're going to need to set up and now we've only got the tin and copper in this area so we really don't need a uh, anything bigger than a tier one camp so if you're wanting to build something bigger than that uh, by all means go for it but if we have a look at the uh, management and we go to harvesting if you have a look at the actual mining camp the only thing that we really don't have is flax we could have brought that with us so you can set up a delivery system if you want to but if you're wanting to get something a little bit bigger say you're wanting to put down a mining hut because you wanted some extra people out here there are a lot of other resources that you're going to need like uh, nails and things like that now you can run back and forth getting these if you want to um, i found the easiest way sometimes is just to set up a delivery system so say we needed uh, 12 copper nails we know that we'll go to the settlement and we'll find our tin copper northwest so say we wanted those tin nails we'll just go to deliveries and we'll just put in the nails and then you can see uh copper nails so we wanted you know uh, from the main uh, camp which is called wombats uh one time delivery and then we would just put how many we needed in here and then at the stroke of midnight uh, those things should be delivered to this particular area the goods that the items are coming out of say one that's there's plenty of people there so you get i think you're getting 20 items per person it's going back the other way from this particular place it's going to be the issue is that if you set up a, a receiving from say you wanting to get this tin back towards your town you'd go to your main one you'd go to deliveries and then you would put in where we're what are we getting from here we're getting tin ore so we just find the tin ore and down the bottom here we would be selecting copper northwest and then it would be a say daily and then we, we know that the maximum amount of tin coming out of here from one person is going to be 20 anyway i don't think they'd mind that much a day anyway you never know but that would be then making sure that it's daily and set up and then that, that should be ready to go so any tin coming out of here is going to go straight towards my main settlement and then i can turn it into ingots and stuff like that all right, so we're going to basically just go and set up someone. I'm going to jump to the end now and get someone over here and then just show you how that whole process works. Okay, so once you've got your mining camp set up, there's a few things that you're going to need out here. You're going to need pickaxes. Um, I did bring some with me. You can just use the simple ones out here if you want to, uh, but you are going to need a sturdy pickaxe if you want to. It'll last a bit longer. So we'll set up a delivery for that now. So what we want to do is we want to go into the settlement tab and we want to go to the, the particular area and pick, click on deliveries. And we want to hit sturdy and we'll find the sturdy pickaxe that's in here now there are two here you can see the bottom one is uh, a broken one so that's your outgoing so the top one is the one we want so we want it from our main settlement and we want it to do daily i'd probably just go one at the moment see how that goes and then that that basically should deliver now another thing that you're going to need out here is food so another thing is to work out what sort of foods you can bring out here it's just a mining camp it's not really that important but if you you know have a good supply of something the same principle applies you would just go to your tab and then we would go uh, just to say we wanted uh, potatoes and we'll just go something really basic and you don't really need a lot this is it's a daily five and you could add something else in there just in case um let's go onion and add some from oh that's want that daily as well and then that should be fine so the that's how you set up your delivery deliveries you really just need the pickaxes now if you want the pickaxes the broken ones to go back out from here uh, you can essentially put in a We've, as you can see, we've put the just the normal ones in here, the simple pickaxes. But if you want them to come out of here, you would go to deliveries and you go to the settlement that you want it to go to and it should get repaired. I don't really want simple pickaxes retur returned. But you can see I've got one set up here for the sturdy one coming from the granite iron area. So we'll do the sturdies because that way they get repaired. And it's the second one. It's the, not the top one, it's this one and you should basically just scroll down and just select where you want it to come from and it's just a daily 
and it's just a one and that should set it up so we just had a delivery go out you can see that it actually worked so we just hit midnight we have a look in here and there's our our five potatoes and our five onions and we didn't get any of the pickaxes they mustn't i must have to just check the quantities of pickaxes back at the main settlement I may not have a, enough being produced, so I set up a minimum quantity required, but the more you know, mining facilities you make, uh, the more that you're going to have to have, I guess, on hand. And that's pretty much it, guys. I don't think there's anything else. Um, just setting up your deliveries and things like that. I just showed you how to do that. So if this was helpful to you in any way, hit that like button. Uh, consider subscribing. I'll show you. I got my person on the way over. I just took someone from my town. It does take a while for them to get here. Um, so the other thing that I'm going to have to set up is a, a shack for her to sleep in. So I'm, I'm going to get that made now. And that's pretty much it. That's how you set up an outpost. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks again, guys.